The Goose That Laid Golden Egg, based on Aesop's fables. One farmer had a small statue of a goose, which had magical powers. The farmer lived with his wife and their only son in a distant village far from the busy cities. He always kept the magical goose statue in a shelf in his room. Nobody but the farmer knew about its magical quality. The farmer had very little and lived a simple life, but he was happy. The farmer was very wise and always taught his son the value of hard labour, perseverance and simple joys of life. The farmer would often say, I could have a lot of wealth, but wealth never brings happiness. It's the simple joys that brings happiness. His wife and son would always wonder about what the farmer hinted at. They thought hard, but would not understand what the farmer meant. When the farmer reached old age, he called his son and handed him over the goose made of clay and told him, After I die, take care of this goose made of clay. It is no ordinary goose. If the lord of the household makes a wish for its magical powers, it will become alive and be a real goose. And that's not all. Something more magical will happen in ten days' time. Nobody knows what, but something magical will happen. However, if you don't feel the need for its magical power, the living goose will gradually turn into a clay goose again and become a statue. It will remain that way until someone revives it again with a wish. This has been in our family for generations, and I, like my father before me, guarded it well and did not feel the need to wake it up. After some days, the farmer and his wife died. The son became alone. Soon he got married, and they had a boy and a girl. The son was living happily with his wife and kids. He did not remember much about the goose that had magical powers, and kept in the shelf like his father did. The son would go out fishing with his family when the crops needed no care for the day. Sometimes they would have picnic in the fields full of flowers under the clear blue sky. In the rainy seasons, whenever it rained, the son would take his family outside and soak in the rain. That's how the son enjoyed his life with his wife and son. One summer, it did not rain for a long time and there was drought. The son could not reap a good harvest. He became worried as he did not earn much from the crops. There was hardly enough food in the house. The times became really tough. He prayed for a miracle to get through the hard times. Then suddenly, he remembered the clay goose his father gave him. He took out the clay goose from the shelf and made a wish for its magical powers so that they would be out of this horrible time. Nothing happened as he wished again and again. So, being disappointed, he put it back in the shelf and went to bed in a sad mood. But something happened overnight. When he woke up in the morning, he saw a white goose roaming around in the room. For a moment, he could not believe his eyes. The magic happened. Now he's got to wait ten more days to see what magic the goose does again. Immediately, he started to take good care of the goose, and he himself fed it every day. He began to like the goose very much. On the tenth day, the boy woke up with excitement, because this is the day that some will happen to end his misery. He went to the room where he kept the goose, and found that the goose laid a beautiful, glittering, golden egg. He was so excited! Now he could buy food for the family along with some essential things for the family. Now the goose continued to lay the golden eggs, and the son would keep some and sell some time to time going to town.
Meanwhile, the dry summer ended. The harsh winter came and gone, and there was spring. The ground became ready for planting new seeds for harvesting again. But the boy did not want to spend time in the field anymore. He got used to the easy money the golden egg of the goose brought him. Gradually, he forgot the simple joys of life. With more money, he wanted even more. He stopped loving the goose and saw it only as a means of making money and getting rich. But it was not long before he grew impatient with the goose because she gave him only a single golden egg a day. He was not getting rich fast enough. Then one day, after he had finished counting his money, the idea came to him that he could get all the golden eggs at once by killing the goose and cutting it open. But when the deed was done, not a single golden egg did he find, and his precious goose was dead. For his greed, he lost the only thing that was the means of his livelihood and the thing he once loved. Then he wondered how he came to be like this. He remembered his father said, However, if you don't feel the need for its magical power, the living goose will gradually turn into a clay goose again and become a statue. It will remain that way until someone revives it again with a wish. He had the chance, but he did not go back to his usual and natural life. Rather, he became greedy and wanted more and more. Indeed, those who have plenty want more and so lose all they have. We hope you liked it. We will be covering more stories like these in the coming days, so please subscribe to our channel to stay in touch!